Today, I'm going to show you how to properly terminate or put the ends on Wilson 400 cable. Doing this correctly will ensure a good connection to all the various components of your signal amplifier system. Improperly terminated cable can result in bad connections, which means less signal passing through to the signal booster and ultimately less coverage area inside of the building. You'll need a stripping tool, a crimping tool, a soldering iron and solder to get the job done right. Some dikes or a cutting tool are also handy tools to have around for the job. You'll also need some Wilson 400 cable and all the components for the connector. We always use heat shrink tubing on our cables. This is optional, but we'd recommend it. You'll need some heat shrink tubing and a heat source if you choose to do this step. First, slide the heat shrink tubing and the crimp ring onto the cable below where you'll be adding the connector. Take the stripping tool and line it up with the edge of your cable. Spin the tool around the cable several times. You'll feel the stripper cut through the shielding as you spin it around the cable. Pull the stripping tool off and remove any remaining pieces that are still connected. You'll be left with something like this. Peel the braided metal shielding back so it looks like this. Make sure that there's no metal shielding in contact with the center pin. Next, you'll solder the center pin onto the cable. Tank the center pin and slip it over the center conductor on the cable. Notice that there's a small hole in the center pin. Orient the center pin so this hole is facing you. You'll need to trim the center conductor so that it is the proper length to fit the center pin. Before you begin to solder the center pin, place a small amount of solder on your iron tip. This will help speed up the process. Place your soldering iron on the back of the center pin and heat the metal. Use the small hole in the center pin to fill the gap between the center pin and the center conductor with molten solder. With the center pin soldered on, slip the connector onto the cable. Make sure that the center pin slips through the center of the connector and is flush with the top of the connector. Slide the crimp ring up and onto the connector. You'll notice that the crimp ring will push the braided shielding back around the connector. Place the connector and the cable into the crimping tool and crimp it firmly in place. We recommend you use a pneumatic crimping tool if possible for the strongest crimp. Finally, slide the heat shrink tubing up around the connector and heat it using a heat gun or other heat source shrinking it down tight around the connector and the cable. With that, you're done. Now just measure out your cable to the proper length and repeat the process on the other end. Check out one of these videos for more tips like this. And don't forget to subscribe for more great videos like this every week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.